hello, hello, hello. My name is Erin Relford and thank you for stopping by. Listen, I was sitting in my apartment today and it dawned on me, you know, I'm out here like the rest of the world trying to stay away from coronavirus, right? And it dawned on me, I was like, man, this feeling feels really familiar, like me being the only girl in the room. And I was like, it's the same thing at work. It's the exact same thing at work. I am in meetings where I am the only black woman in the room who happens to work in tech. So I thought, well shoot, what better way or what better opportunity to get on my high horse and start talking to women who look like me and invite them on into the room. I want to see more women. I want to see more women, period. Let's be clear, right? But I would love to see more black women working in technology or any of the other fields such as science. kind of starts with talking about your skill set. I get that like many don't look like you when you turn on television or you know watching a film. It's time that we start to change the narrative both in front of the camera and behind the camera. You already have skills that can be applicable to so many jobs in tech. How would your life change if you just adapted your skill sets that you already do in life, right? Like came with birth. <laughs> and apply that to technology and the skill sets required for some of these jobs. Like, how much different would your life be? Like Beyonce say, partner, let me upgrade. No, I'm not gonna sing for y'all. I wanna upgrade your career and possibly your future. And the only way we're gonna do that is if we break down like each of the individual steps that makes it easier for you to kind of get into tech. Most people think technology is hard. Like, technology isn't hard. It just requires like focus and time you got. Plenty of that thanks to Corona, right? So let's break down these steps and look at under a microscope how easy and simple this is to get you on the other side of working in tech. So stick around, cause I'm gonna show you how you are perfect for tech. How do you start your day? If you're like me, you get up in the morning, you check your phone, you like get ready for work, you get in your car, you ride the bus, you get on a bike. I guarantee you, you're probably either listening to a podcast or you are watching a YouTube video or you're probably listening to the radio, what have you, right? You get to work or school, you sit in front of a desk and you've got one in front of you, a computer. Just think about the many ways that like your life like interweaves in with technology. That makes you a consumer. A consumer of technology and guess what the people who make it like real money are the producers of technology so how do we go from making you a consumer into a producer I think that's the whole key to it and that starts off with talking about skill sets let's look at the spectrum okay you have super technical jobs and then you have less technical jobs right equally as important you have people who are solutions architects or people working in machine language or artificial intelligence like those are like really really hot right now right the latest and greatest but then you have people on the other side who typically have like really good soft skills or like super organized you got project managers you have program managers you have product owners like whole gamut of things you got people in design you have people in mobile like together in all this there's an entire ecosystem of technology jobs that are available and so like I want to spend this series the only girl in the room talking about each of those jobs breaking down the skill set and then connecting you to a curriculum and how to get there look at the time frames for all of that and then also kind of talk about community and how we build around you to make sure that you're successful at all of this Let's talk about me for a minute and like my journey and how I got into tech. So I started out gratefully having a, a family and parents that were supportive of my curiosity. I'll never forget fourth grade, gifted and talented. Like I got introduced into Venus and the planets and NASA. My mind was completely blown, right? And so instantly, like I got pulled into this thing and I never left, right? But I noticed that you know, as I got older, like when I got to college, I just knew I was gonna be an aerospace engineer. Like I just knew I was gonna be at NASA working, doing something interesting. And as I got into these classes, I'd be the only girl. 
Forget being black, I'd be the only girl in class. And I'd get upset that like the professor would like lean in and be like, you know, are you, do you understand this? Are you okay? And at the time I was offended. Like, you know, don't talk to me. <laughs> and like, I can look back on that time now and realize that like, no, he was actually just kind of like being supportive. And you know, you're not trained for that. No one tells you like how to get ready for this kind of thing. So. Moving on, I ended up changing my major because the classes in engineering just got a little too much because I didn't have the support to lean on within a community to say, yeah, girl, keep going. Like, mm -mm, you got this, right? And so I switched my, uh, my, excuse me, I switched my major. I switched my major over to computer science and wow. The world opened up for me because even though I am very much like a, a process oriented person where I want to build, right? Engineering would have been good for me. IT gave me like so much creativity in what I could do. And when I, you know, when I graduated college, like, oh, found out about a career in IT auditing. And I'm like, what? What? You mean like they're going to pay me and fly me all over the world to look at different systems and interview people in different jobs, you know, just to kind of help them understand like what security looks like or what a process should look like. Like y'all gonna pay me for that and pay me well? Let's do this, right? After that, I end up working for, oh God, where was I? Waste management? Yeah, a garbage company. I end up working at a garbage company and don't get me wrong, like I wasn't in the garbage, but working on these, these you know, like different, processes that would happen within a garbage company. So I did well. Next thing you know, I was working for something called Big Four. I'll do a video on that later to help you kind of understand like what that life is like as a consultant. I, I was a consultant for a year and I got the call from the Walt Disney Company. Like, you want to come work for us? And I was like, what? <laughs> so, man, I moved out to California and my life changed. My life changed. I've now worked for three different studios. I've seen what the world of entertainment can be like, but more excitingly, like what the world of tech can look like on the creative side. And as I have, again, I've met from everyone from like the executive assistant supporting people to all the way up to the CIO. Like I've sat in rooms with everyone and wow, I just, I'm tired of being the only one. I want you there. I want sister such and such there and sister such and such there to join me because like man listen let's let's think about something real quick black women when we bring ourselves to something like i've seen what some of y'all do with wigs oh my god i got a few of my own right i've seen what y'all do with makeup and you know if you didn't have but three ingredients in the refrigerator i guarantee you know how to make a meal black women are awesome so just think about like what that would look like if we actually did that in technology. Like, do you think maybe then we might rule the world? Beyonce say it's possible, so listen, why not? Let's do it. I'm hoping that you're gonna join me every week so that we can talk about this. Um, there are so many different topics in tech and like black women, women of color, like I wanna do it all and so, I want to hear from you. Drop below in the comments and let me know what type of discussions do you want to have in this forum and how can I help you again just to get to a career. I'm pretty sure you don't even know like certain careers are available to you and so we're going to break all that down from week to week. I'm looking forward to doing that with you. I'm looking forward to meeting each of you guys. Again, my name is Erin. I'll be back here next week and by the way, like if you want to know about any of this, just drop me a question in the comments. Uh, I'll talk to you later and everybody stay safe.